Hi, boys and girls. Let's go over our sounds again. Er, perk, term, germ. Listen again. Perk, term, germ. Our long E, our EEs. Cheese, bleed, creep. Our EAR, smear, clear, swear. And our EER, sneer, sheer, cheer. All right, I added another vocabulary word. I added jealousy. Jealousy is that feeling that you get when you want what somebody else has, okay? If your brother gets a new bike and you feel jealous because you want one. All right, today we're going to continue with Judy Moody Saves the World by Megan McDonald. This chapter is called Batty for Band-Aids. When Stink, Judy, and Rocky got off the bus after school the next day, Stink called, race you to the mailbox, but Judy did not run after Stink. She stayed right where she was so she could watch Rocky do his new disappearing bubblegum trick. That's when they heard Stink yell from across the street, the crazy strips contest, Judy, you won. He waved an envelope in the air. Stink, you lie like a rug, Judy said. I'm not falling for that trick again. It says contest winner right here in fat red letters. See, if this is a trick, you're up a tree, Judy said, crossing the street. Maybe it's not a trick this time, said Rocky, walking beside her. What did she win? Rollerblades, said Stink. Rollerblades do not fit in an envelope, Stink. Well, maybe you're a runner-up then, said Stink. Maybe you won sunglasses. Sunglasses don't fit in an envelope either. Give it. Judy grabbed the envelope and tore it open. And here's a picture of them looking at the letter. It says, Dear Miss Moody, congratulations. Enclosed, please find an honorable mention certificate for entering our Crazy Strips contest. Great job. Certificate, yelled Judy. That's all I got for Heal the World. One crummy certificate. A certificate is not even close to rollerblades. A certificate will not decorate the ankles of millions. An honorable mention certificate is like winning second place, said Rocky. Judy covered up her ears. Don't even mention the word certificate again. At least you got something, Stink said. Yeah, Rocky said. Stink didn't even get a certificate. That cheered Judy up a little bit. Well, at least I get to hang something in the Moody Hall of Fame on the fridge. Just then, Stink dropped the mail, catalogs, and envelope, envelopes and blew every, sorry. Just then, Stink dropped the mail. Catalogs and envelopes blew every which way. Help, yelled Stink. A letter flew out from inside a catalog and landed on the driveway. Wait, called Stink, picking up the letter. I got one, too. Let's see if you still think certificates are so great, said Judy. Stink took his time opening the envelope. Stink, I'll be in the fourth grade by the time you get that thing open. Hurry up, read it. Stink read the letter. Dear Mr. Moody, congratulations. You are a winner in the Crazy Strips Design Your Own Bandage Contest. Your design, Batty for Band-Aids, will be, fe be a featured Crazy Strip of the Month for October. Signed M. Donovan, Crazy Strip CEO. Crazy Strip of the Month, said Stink, jumping up and down and waving a letter in the air. I got Crazy Strip of the Month? Let me see that. Judy read the letter with her own eyes. How could this happen? Her very own stinky little brother won the Crazy Strip of the Month. I think she might be feeling our jealousy, don't you think? What's wrong with these people, cried Judy, shaking the letter. Do they have bats in their belfries, band-aids for brains? Don't they know bats have beady little eyes and squished up noses like pigs? Don't they know bats look like vampires? At least they don't look like flying footballs, said Stink. Don't they even care about healing the world, Judy said. Big-eared bats are endangered, said Stink. Putting them on a crazy strip is like healing the, war the world. Roar, said Judy. Big-eared bats were going to decorate the ankles of millions. Meanwhile... The entire state of Virginia would be stepping on Northeast Beach Tiger Beetles and not even knowing it. Hey, what about your rollerblades, asked Rocky. It says here I won a pair of Crazy Strip sunglasses, said Stink. That must be your prize, said Rocky, pointing to a big box on the porch. Stink and Rocky ran over with Judy right behind them. It's from the Crazy Strips company, said Stink. My sunglasses. They must be sunglasses for a rhino, said Judy. Maybe they messed up and sent you rollerblades by mistake, said Rocky. I hope they're black with a red racing stripe and a silver stink. Just open the box, said Judy. Stink ripped into the box. 
It was not rollerblades. It was not sunglasses for a rhino. It was crazy strips, tons of crazy strips, gazillions of crazy strips, a lifetime supply, at least 10 boxes. Rare, whispered Judy. Wow, we said Rocky, I've never seen so many crazy strips. I have said stink, pointing to Judy, queen of the crazy strips, but these are M-I-N-E mine. You drew this, asked Rocky, looking at Stink's design. Double cool. Wow, your very own original crazy strip, said Judy. She couldn't help feeling like a green bean, green with envy. That's the jealousy I was telling you about. And here's a picture of Stink with his sunglasses. And Judy looks very unhappy. Hey, here's my sunglasses, said Stink, digging down to the bottom of the box. They were shaped like a Band-Aid. He put them on and looked at the sun. They really work, said Stink. Lucky, said Judy. Those will protect you from a giant hole in the ozone over Antarctica. Stink had his own crazy strip. Her own batty little brother was now as famous as Josephine Dixon, inventor of the adhesive bandage. Adhesive bandage. If it weren't for the giant hole in the sky, she, Judy Moody, would move straight to Antarctica. Do you think they have bats in Antarctica, Judy asked. Frozen bats, said Stink. Oh, Judy tipped her head toward the ozone and let out one long howler monkey howl. I'd say she's pretty mad. And we'll read some more tomorrow. Thanks for listening.